G'day. In today's video, I've got a Dell Inspiron 3585. As you can see in the model number just down here. Might be a bit hard for you guys to see up there. And this particular one is not powering, but when I plug the power in, it says it's charging. So I'm going to open it up and just go through a few things to check if you're experiencing a similar thing. I'm hoping in this particular instance that I can just disconnect and reconnect the battery and that will kick it back into gear. But right now, plug the charger in, hit the power button and I get nothing. So with it, just take out all the Phillips head screws that you can see. This particular model doesn't have any hidden, so that is convenient. Most of which are the same size. The ones in the hinges usually like to stay there. And today they're being no different. So I'm trying to take that out and oh, actually that did come out. That required a bit of, bit of effort to do that. Try it on the other side. Fingernail underneath and lift it up. And that one's out. So from here, I want to open it up. So I should be able to hopefully grab it. Put the fingernails on a silver plastic, push up a little bit. And there we go, we're lifting. On this particular one, the back comes off it. So we go like that. We are now in. So looking inside, what do we see? We see one NVMe over here. One NVMe, one MP2.5 inch drive. A fair bit of hair, it looks like. But what I want to do to begin with, I'm seeing little bits of corrosion, but it's more from hair. The first thing I want to do is disconnect the battery. So it will be slightly easier if I undo the four screws holding it into position, all of which I would assume to be the same size. So far they are. So if you were replacing or upgrading the battery on this one, this is what you would be doing. That flips out. I'm going to pull up this bit of tab here. Go. And then from there, should be able to just walk it left and right. No, there we go, not even left and right. So from there we've disconnected and removed the 42 watt hour battery. And with that disconnected, I want to plug in the power, open it up slightly and hit the power button and see if I get a display at all. If not, I'll cover a few other different things you can do with this machine. If I can't get it to power, so hit the power button. Right now, I see the caps lock is lit up. I see no light on the power button. A whole lot of nothing going on here. I'll disconnect it, plug it back in. Nothing there. Okay, I'll try the power button again. I get caps lock going over here. I will hook up an external display. Sometimes it can be that the internal display has failed. But we're now getting a blinking light. Hold that over. What do we get? One, two, two, one, two, three, four, two, four. So I'll look that up online. So looking online, apparently that is a no RAM detected. So it's got two, three, which says no memory or random access memory detected. So either the RAM needs reseating, or I'll just simply take it out and put it in the alternative slot. You will notice there is a little notch here that corresponds with these notches here. So see how I can't put it in this way? So if I now switch it around, push it in, push down, then plug the power back in, we'll lift it up and hit the power button once more, and we'll see if we end up with the same postcode going off. Power button on, caps lock light on, and we're now displaying. So right now either the RAM slot's failed, or the RAM just needed to be reseated. It potentially could have been dropped. So if I line it up, push it in, plug that in, lift this up, hit the power button, 
Power light is on. Nope. We're back to blinking. So I suspect we have a failed RAM slot. The other alternative I will try is just a fresh stick of RAM in there. One right here. So this one here is Samsung 16 gig, 3200 megahertz. Put that in on the 45 degree angle, pull down. 45, push down, clicked in. Plug this in, lift it up. Power button, light has going solid, right where my finger is, nope. So on this particular one, sodium slot B has failed. Put this in over here, pull it down, plug it in. Power button once more, we have a solid light, staying solid and back to solid. Bingo. Memory change detected. Unplug that. So right now, we have a failed RAM slot on the Dell Intron, which is actually pretty darn rare. I can't say I've seen that too frequently. Cross this off. Put the original four gig into this slot over here. And from there, I'll reinstall the battery. It just slides into this section here. Pull. That's clicked into place. There. Put the screws back in. One. Two. Three. And lastly, four. So over the top. And we proceeded to put the screws back in. There was one weird little screw like this that has the thread start further down the line. So I'll use that in the corners here. As the hinge ones do typically go further. There is also another little screw which goes here. But then from there you should be able to use virtually any screw, I believe in most of the other positions. Since this one was missing screws, I'm gonna to go to the edges or to the corners first and prioritize them. As I say that, this one here is actually a corner screw. Let's switch this one over. Or hinge screw is what I usually define them as. To there, yep. This in the hinge. So I hope this helps diagnose the two orange, four, oh, two orange, four white light, blinking lights on your Dell Inspiron. So potentially you may have RAM failure or a slot failure. I hope this helps and I'll see you later. Bye.